What's going on guys, it is Golazio here, welcome back to another FIFA 20 career mode tutorial. Guys, today I'm bringing you a fairly quick, nice, simple tutorial, but it is at the request, it is about player contracts. So a lot of you have been asking, how do I reduce my wage bill objective? So what I'm actually going to do for you guys today is a several little things. I'm going to actually help you assist your contract when players are no longer a star player. When do you negotiate that? And of course, we are going to be showing you how to actually reduce our wage bill and the most efficient way to actually do that. Of course, guys, make sure you do hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And yes, let's go on into the tutorial. Like I mentioned, this is a fairly simple tutorial, but it is a little reminder if you are an experienced FIFA player. But anyway, so with your player contracts, of course, we all know when you sign them to start with, a lot of the time you're going to be signing them on a critical contract. Of course, once you get further down the line and they don't develop as much, that contract becomes less and less valuable. So you want that ability to actually change it. But when do you actually change it to provide you with the best result? This is when you do it. So for example, if you are signing new players, if you are a left midfielder and you have all of a sudden signed a brand new left midfielder who has a higher rating and maybe someone else who is an in-between rating. Um, so the initial player that you bought on a critical contract is no longer that star player. Once you sign those players, wait until the end of the transfer window. And once that transfer window is shut, you can actually negotiate the contract with that initial first player. The reason you wait until the transfer window is shut is because you have the ability to edit any player. You can in the transfer window, edit any contract and have the team realize that there are better players in front of me now and I'm no longer a starting 11 player. The problem is, if you don't meet it at the right time or you wait too long, what's going to happen is basically players going to kick off, they're going to hand in transfer requests, you might not get a good enough but, uh, price value if you try to sell them, so make sure you time that perfectly. So once you've ended your transfer window, consider reviewing the contracts and signing them on new deals, lowering their uh, playing time so you don't have to worry about keeping morale up. Because the problem is, if you have a lot of players on critical contract, team morale is going to come down and your team's not going to perform as well. Even though you start 11, it's proper up there. So a quick mention here, I mentioned player morale. Of course, player morale is going to be a big effect on your contract. So make sure you do manage them correctly. I uh, like with all the things, little things I've just mentioned there. Make sure you do take consideration of when you do it and doing it all the time. Reviewing that contract all the time to make sure that all players are happy. Right, and of course, we are going to be mentioning the um, objective. So the objective where you have to possibly reduce the wage bill by like 20% or even by like 10 grand is usually about that, depending on what team you play for is in that formation as such. Um, when you actually do this, you can either do it in two ways. You can either um, sell a big player, that helps loads, um, but usually you're going to have to replace that player, so our wage bill is going to go back up. But my biggest recommendation is to actually go through the entire squad and get them on new contracts. That's probably the most efficient way to actually can really consider doing it. You don't have to necessarily have to go through all of them. So go through a lot of your second string players to actually begin with and see how much you can reduce that down. And once you start playing further in the season, work further up the squad and then work on your bench. So once you've played six months, you realize, right, okay, um, Mark Roy as a player I got, he isn't playing as much anymore. I'm gonna put him down to a prospect um, with a, a one grand wage because he doesn't play but he's on the bench so a quick little tip with that if you actually go in your squad hub and organize it by position anyone who is third or second in that position you actually negotiate okay I want him in the price so whoever if you if you see you have three goalkeepers see what the lowest rate it is and go right okay he's gonna get a new contract second rate is gonna get a new contract as well so take that in consideration. Nice little easy option for you to go. And as well, delegate there. Do not do it yourself. Just delegate it. They end up doing a really good contract for you anyway. And they tend to reduce the squad role down quite easily. But anyway, guys, that is the tutorial. That's a very nice, quick, easy tutorial. I know a lot of you might be asking, can you overcome the transfer request? 
I'm working on it. I haven't had much luck yet. Once one comes in, I've done everything to save a player and literally it just does not happen. I don't know if there's a little way around it, but I'm going to figure that out and possibly bring a tutorial for you very soon. But anyway, guys, my name is Glazio. And thank you very much for watching. Of course, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It means so much. Supports the channel loads. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.